let's learn the basic of Grasshopper. So Grasshopper is a visual programming extension of Rhino and do not get worried, I'm not good at math or programming or automation and I do use it quite a bit so uh, you don't need to be a genius. Uh, today to just show you the basic I'll be using curve that I just drew they are just simple uh, Rhino curve nothing else so I just went here I'll type curve and I just drew this nothing more so to start grasshopper we type grasshopper in the command line and I'll get rid of this and usually uh, it looks like this so the hotkey are the same uh, the scroll zoom the right click pan and uh, don't be worried about everything it's uh, it's actually super easy to use it's very very well designed I had the chance to use ice and Houdini in the past uh, just a little bit and uh, this is easy to use so let me talk a little bit about it um, here there's the open save we can have multiple um, definitions so multiple nodes connected and saved um, the most important one is display uh, for now we'll leave draw icons and draw fancy wire but uh, during the demo I'll show you what those three does and sometime I turn them on and off otherwise we've got all of uh, grasshopper here so the parameters there's a lot of cool things just to show you a bit this is like a num on a guitar uh, so it can output speed out different value this is more like um, a notebook uh, a block knot and you see it writes it prints what this one uh, do so anyway a lot of those like this I'm just deleting them here we've got a lot of mathematic nodes uh, the one I use the most is just addition multiplication but there's a lot sets it's when you group in programming vector it's a direction a sense of plus all of the Rhino even more the curve the surfaces the mesh the intersection, boolean, all of this, transform, the bend, twist, flow along curve, display. Kangaroo is a plugin, don't worry about this one. But I don't even really go here. You can actually uh, type, uh, you can call them by typing. So usually what I do, I will double click and I will type what I want. So if I need a panel, I will just type panel. And you see, it's the same as doing this to here. Um, and you can just start like this so if you want a value you could just say 2 and now you have an integer with 2 so if you put it here it returns a 2 so it's as simple as this uh, so just for fun look I'll do another double click and I put 5 and then we'll do another double click and let's say I want to do a multiplication so I go multiply and now look A goes here B goes here and we have the result here and now we just made our first calculator so if you say 2 times 8 16 so it's as simple as this often the logic is even easier so we had to build this out of metal very big it's 15 feet tall and each was an LED light so I, so I basically needed each curve to carry a light you see so that's uh, this was done in Rhino and the render was done in Modo. So uh, I needed each um, curve to have uh, multiple light. So to do this, I use Grasshopper and I can just say divide this and apply mini sphere. So that's what I'm just about to show you. It's really simple and it's one of the little definitions that I use all the time. So how do we connect this to this? Uh, many way, but here we know their curve, so we can look for the curve node. And the easiest is to actually select them first. So here, you go back, you go shift, and your orange means it's empty. So when you have an orange node, there's nothing in it. You right click and you go set. Usually you go one curve, but here I will go multiple curves. We have three. Gray means it has um, data inside, it has content, and green means it's selected. So now we have our curves. So as you know, in, in Rhino, there's a tool called Rebuild that let us resample curve, things like this. So here we have the same, it's called Divide Curve. 
so I'll be using this one and now I'll show you what the display does so if we turn off icon you can see the name and there's a lot of YouTube video that use this when you'll get good at, at it it's better to you can also go full name and you can see so this is the curve this is the count the number and the points that generate out if you don't understand kicks tangent parameter it's fine because I myself do not use them so we'll plug this to curve and you see now it divide the curve by the default value is if we hover it should tell us 10 so now I can double click and if I want a slider I can say I want a slider that goes from 2 crocodile to 80 and now we've got a slider we could double click and rename it if we want you could call it count or numbers or sphere number count here and if we plug this to the end now you see we are rebuilding it very fast and this is multi-threaded so if you have a good computer uh, and then the output very easy will be a sphere that's it uh, wrong sphere so I'm just double clicking sphere and the sphere as you can tell so the point here goes here when you see those little things it means it's a data tree we'll go into that later on and the radius of the sphere so this will be pretty small 0.05 to 2.0 and we could double click name this radius and we already have a very useful grasshopper definition and if you think about it there's really two nodes involved so it's really simple here and now you see we can uh, change the radius my laptop is quite slow so I'll go with a uh, but uh, as you can tell it, up, it update and now if we come here and change this point it will update so now how do I bake this how do I send this back to a uh, Rhino I right click bake select the layer mesh say okay that's it now my sphere are here so if I need to do rendering I might convert them to a mesh and then save it and open them in model 